The radical cultural Marxists are taking over everything that we have from academia, media, the political system, obviously. So, today we have an exclusive uh, leak uh, from Amber Valley Borough Council. We have one of the local councils in the country. Uh, and to, well, surprisingly, obviously, we're going to give some bad news from the. It's Labour controlled. The Labour, Par Labour Party controls uh, this council. And uh, guess what they've done? They've sent out a letter. I want an email to all the councillors from all political parties, not just Labour, to force them to show their support and solidarity to the new cultural Marxist movement uh, and the BLM, or BLM organization. Let's have a look at this because it's funny. Because uh, you got uh, Alison Steeples. Her job is she's the Democratic Services Officer, uh, Cabinet and Council. Democratic Services. Very democratic. Look at this. So, dear councillor, firstly, thank you to all those who attended last night's first remotely held full council meeting. Your collective patience and cooperation was very much appreciated. As detailed during the report of the leader of the council, blah, 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 I've been formally asked by the leader to send all the councillors the attachment statement of support for the BLM movement. And the leader reached out uh, the attached statement of at the meeting uh, and everybody supported it. On this basis, please, could you reply to this email to confirm whether you would like your name to be added to the attached statement to show your support for this movement. Please reply to this email at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, the 30th of June. Now, I've spoken to a couple of councillors who are not happy about this, uh, who are not Labour councillors, uh, who have uh, been saying that they are essentially being forced and they, they will be named and shamed if they don't actually sign this letter and this statement. Coercion is not a good idea, guys. It's undemocratic, it's bad, and they think they are supporting the movement and the cause. Every time I say this, there are a lot of crazy lefties come out and say, oh, do you mean you don't like certain people from you know, certain backgrounds or whatever? No, everybody, you know, knows that, you know, everybody, the equality of races is there. You have to just respect people and treat everybody equally as individuals. The problem I have with this movement, the whole organization, is that they are quite open about their agenda. They are very public about the fact that they want to get rid of the police. They want to abolish capitalism. They want to bring down the Western civilization, the establishments that we have, the political system and everything. And uh, they want to, you know, look what they've done in America with Chaz. They're going to have their own Chaz in the UK. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're going to take over Glasgow or somewhere like that, or Birmingham. But uh, So this is Amber Valley, and they're all going crazy. It's just, this should not be happening right now in this country, in, in, in a democratic society. And so there will be some councillors who will probably oppose this, and they will be in trouble, as usual. And uh, yeah, the Marxists are now taking over the local authorities. As if schools weren't bad, bad enough, universities weren't bad enough for them. So, then you have this idiot. <laughs> so, Annalise Dodds, she is the shadow uh, chancellor. So, if Labour win the next election, she will be in charge of the Treasury. She doesn't understand anything about economics. She doesn't understand anything about ordinary British lives. She doesn't care about the country and how it should be run. She has proposed to massively increase taxes on ordinary British people, on everybody. You know, I'm not talking about your big corporations like Google or, you know, uh, uh, Apple. She's talking about raising taxes that will impact, that will have an impact on every single person, whether you're a plumber, whether you're a sole trader, whether you're a teacher, everybody will be hit. Their tax revenue, ironically, will actually come down there will be less money for public services and more debt. And the future generation, your children, will have to pay for this. Um, so this is the last thing that they need to do. Basically, this is the they've been you know they've taken control of academia. They've got the media. They've uh, you know got the local councils now, Amber Valley, <laughs> and uh, now central government is the next step. And do not be fooled by Keir Starmer. Just because he's not Jeremy Corbyn doesn't mean he's a moderate in that sense. His policies are still the same. He will nationalize everything that he sees. He will raise taxes on ordinary people. 1970s will come back. This is not good news. Now, <laughs> uh, this special person, Richard Bergen, 
Most of you know who he is. He's a Labour MP. He's not happy about what happened to Rebecca Long Bailey yesterday. Uh, Long Bailey got sacked from the shadow cabinet. Uh, Keir Starmer um, essentially finally acted strongly and got rid of a strong Corbynite. Uh, she's, she's a complete like Marxist. Um, Richard Bergen is also a crazy commie. And uh, she, uh, he said, Becky did a great job as shadow education secretary, standing with the unions against the Tory attempts to force schools to reopen. She has an important role to play in Labour's future. And I uh, don't think that she should have been sacked for sharing in, uh, the independence interview with Maxine Peake. Um, so Becky's job was shadow education secretary. Education secretaries are there to support schools and teachers and the education system. Richard Bergen is saying the Tories were forcing our kids to be educated <laughs> and Rebecca Long Bailey stopped it. Rebecca Long Bailey stopped our children from being educated. Well done Becky. Why is he proud of this? <laughs> He's actually happy that Becky stopped education. Uh, so because the next move that they have is uh, they want to now oppose schools reopening uh, even in September. Idiots, right? So, <laughs> so that's uh, the, the thing we have. On a, on a lighter note, we have a new plane. Boris has a new plane. We've got the new Royal Air Force with the Union flag. It's absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. Great design. Now, um, everybody's happy about this. Uh, some people are not happy about the fact that the, the flag is actually apparently upside down. But actually, that's just how they do it on planes. And every flag in every country is just how it is because they have to... Um, that, that's how you deal with it, with the way they fly. Now, the people are kicking off. Sky News is kicking off. <laughs> Deborah Haynes says, uh, Boris Johnson's VIP jet is spotted uh, airborne for the first time since. Uh, makeover, blah, blah, blah. One source had said that uh, the £900,000 paint job looked like something from Austin Powers. £900,000 uh, paint job, right? Well, it's not true, is it? Deborah, it's not uh, a paint job, and it was never supposed to be a paint job. The £900,000 budget for this specific uh, project uh, went through uh, everything from uh, the maintenance, the overhaul, uh, the actual security that's needed, uh, all the logistics for the plane, you had the, the interior uh, design, and uh, but yeah, again, security was also the big factor in this. But they don't mention this. They're telling everybody that it's a paint job. No, £900,000 was not for a paint job. <laughs> They're lying to you. Uh, this is the mainstream media. I mean, you've got their other best friends, the BBC, who have now committed £100 million towards the diverse and inclusive content. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> £100 million commitment towards diverse and inclusive content for the BBC. This is according to the Nolan show, uh, show. So, it's 100 million pounds. But do you know where it's going to come from? Your pocket, the taxpayers' money. So even uh, if you know you're not paying your license fee, they're going to get a grant from the central government, which comes from your tax tax money. It's happening anyway. 100 million pounds. Why? I mean, I don't even care what they're using it on. I mean, firstly, diverse and inclusive content. What is that? Secondly, 100 million. <laughs> So this is bad. This is exactly why we're opposing this monopoly that uh, the BBC have. Uh, you know, feel free. If you become a private entity, private company. Do whatever you want to do. I don't care. Do not take taxpayers' money. Do not be a public body. Um, and this is embarrassing. This is exactly why we're fighting against the BBC. This is why we should defund the BBC. Cancelling your TV license and watching my TC instead. Uh, we got the new merch, obviously. We got the T-shirts. The link is in the description. Check it out. Get your uh, T-shirt soon because it's limited. We're not going to have it forever. I think we're going to have it for the next two weeks, I think. Um, and then we'll see how everything goes. And uh, thanks again for watching. If you're new, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you get notified. And if you're enjoying the content for a while, become a member. Uh, support the channel. You'll get a lot of benefits. you got members Q&A. Uh, you, we get uh, the weekly video podcast, which is a longer version of these, to review the whole week. Uh, we uh, have uh, Zoom video calls with the members, and soon we're going to have our nationwide free speech tour. And we also have plans for London for the next mayoral election. So don't forget to join us and support our cause. 
I'm Mahatisi. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video.